today we're going to turn a bunch of garbage into even more valuable garbage. And we do that by clicking on them so much they turn into something better. The first thing we're going to do is extend the factory, and buy a saw blade machine, and go ahead and slap that down over there, that way we're both crushing and sawing our materials. Then our supply machine needs an upgrade. And then our assembly line looks something like this. We're spitting out what appears to be a watermelon that gets crushed into sand that can get turned into glass with enough ambition. These are all still useless products that are very, very little valuable to anyone, but we're still going to make them anyway. They load into the truck, we make profit. I can spend my hard-earned money upgrading different things. For example, I'm going to upgrade my saw blade a whole bunch. Now when it gets down there, it's going to saw things really, really hard and turn them into much better materials. Now it looks like we're getting automatic glasses, so that's going to be a lot of extra money. That truckload was worth 24, this one will be worth even more because look at all that glass. If we just tickle the sand a little bit, it doesn't change the value. That truckload was worth $57. I wouldn't pay $57 for a handful of sand. It does kind of make me wonder what comes after glass though. I don't know if we can click fast enough to uh, see yet, we might need some upgraded tools. But I can level up the factory for now, so our hammer power also goes up, so it's up to level 7. That means we do 7 damage every time we hit something, so there's glass, and after glass comes... A cup, probably made of porcelain, for almost double the value of glass, so we need more of those. We could probably automate this a little better if we can expand this thing a little bit. So we just need a little more money, and we're going to make more money just by hammering away on anything at all. We just hammer our materials until they turn into better materials. And then before you know it, we have more room. But it turns out we need a lot more money to be able to really do anything, so we're just going to keep hammering away on stuff. But we do have extra time to do this now. The cups we still can't break through, but we did get 9 of them. Which earned me $615 from a lady carrying drinks. Luckily factory upgrades are still unreasonably cheap, so we're going to buy at least a few of those. And now we're at 13 hammer power. So we can one shot the watermelon things, and that turns into glass, we can turn the glass into the cups, and even the cups we'll be able to get through, especially when they get saw bladed. After those come coffee cup, $35. Can I use two fingers to tap? I can just tap everything like this. Uh, the next things, the coffee cups are really tough to get through. They have like 600 health, so we're going to need a mega factory to get those. I guess I can upgrade their machine crusher thing. So yeah, we'll just go that many times. Uh, now when it smashes things, it's kind of overkill. It's just smashing 9 HP. But if we turn these ahead of time, it'll smash those more efficiently. So it can smash 45, it cuts their health in half. It's still very slow to let this factory go by itself, so maybe I'll just kind of go like this for a sec and then we can make lots of money because surely the machines will do some work. I guess at this point I could probably upgrade the factory some more. It's only $239 to do that. Now I have 14 hammer power. And I keep forgetting I can actually upgrade the supply machine so it can uh, supply us even quicker. And this is going to be a well worthwhile upgrade because now it'll spit material out all the quicker to the point where my crusher is hitting two things at the same time. And this game perfectly suits my ADD because I can just tap anywhere and something good probably happens. I guess it's worthwhile now to try and actually get the coffee cups uh, we're supposed to be selling, even though I'm going to get like a $300 bonus for that. But I have already saved up $1,000, so let's get this supply machine going a little quicker so it's spitting out more crap. More crap means more profit. And that is causing stuff to bottleneck a little bit, so now I can smash multiple things and we're really starting to make some money quickly. Oh, look at this little guy. A flying ad robot full of money. I don't want bonuses, I want the pain. I don't drink this much coffee for nothing. I finished my coffee cup mission, $2,800. That's actually worth it for once. So that means I can buy a general box, which should have a tool in it, which I can add to my assembly line for further destruction. Drilling machine. So we've installed that now. It seems to just sort of be admiring what's on the assembly line, but pretty soon, there we go, it's going to start drilling. Uh, of course, it's going to be nothing spectacular yet, but we'll get leveled up real soon. I can have to level up a few things. For now, I'm just clicking away as I do. I've got $3,000 to spend, so this thing's going to get a bunch of upgrades. We'll go that far with it. Now when it drills, it's going to do big drilling. It looks like whatever it does stab, it takes off about 50 HP, so 50 HP closer to whatever comes next. But with my next $2,000, I'm going to spend it all on me upgrades, so my hammer is now 19 damage. Made $1,000 back in a hurry, so I'm going to upgrade the uh, saw thing, so that's also going to help us get to the new layers. I'm not sure how much damage it's doing. doesn't really matter at this point, as long as it's turning something into something else. Oh, I see. The tools break down once in a while, so the manager has to come by to save them. I'm going to work in some of these red cups right here to try and turn them into whatever's next, because I want to officially unlock whatever's next, which is going to be a bottle gourd, which is $49. Which means that we're definitely starting to make some pretty good money. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this spitting out machine. That way it's going to give us even more stuff, even though this is getting expensive, but we've got thousands of dollars to spare. And look at it go now, it's a constant stream of crap coming out of there. And we're going to hit it even harder too. 
I think if I tap right here, this stuff's also going to get pressed, but I want to press it out of its watermelon form before it gets pressed for the first time. While I'm at it, I might as well try and knock some red cups into the next gourd form, then we can get some extra bonuses for it. I really didn't realize I already made $10,000. This is one of those games you just get so busy and addicted to that you don't really notice the progress you're making. But I'm also going to go like this and now we have 30 hammer power. I think we're overdue to extend the factor. We have $53,000. It's 2400 to extend it. It's 5000 for a general box. And that's got some kind of drill. Okay, that was just an upgrade to our existing drill. I need a new kind of tool. Like a hammer machine, which is probably a very real machine in factories all around the world. You get in there and hammer stuff. I uh, will give it a fair chance to do stuff, uh, so it's going to go to level, I don't know, 15. And that's just one more layer of stuff, breaking stuff into better stuff. I still haven't finished my gourd quest because I got distracted, as I often do, but there's a bunch of gourds. With all this, we could actually find out what comes after gourds. Uh, for now, I'm going to upgrade this thing so it's spitting stuff out quicker, because we have $50,000 to spend. Now look at it, the things are actually piling up over here. They're getting log jammed, which is actually really, really good. Also, we finished our gourds. $20,000. I have also made another $30,000 in like the blink of an eye. So I'm going to spend $17,000 of that on another box to either get us a new tool or upgrade one of our existings. The factory we're going to upgrade uh, seven more times. That's going to give me 37 hammer power. I'm also going to upgrade the saw considering it only costs $250 currently. So that's going to do a lot more to tickle these items into something better. The next item is locked at level 40. So we'll get bring ourselves to level 40 very soon. And that unlocks furniture. We turn wood into bricks, into stools, into whatever. Okay, we're changing the products now. Uh, okay, we're turning into wood instead. Uh, which are considerably tougher. But we've already turned the wood into wood board, which is $67. So that's a lot more. Wood is considerably tougher though. I think that has like over a thousand health. So it's going to take a second to find out what it turns into. Wood board turns into wood chair, $87. We might be able to find out what's beyond that, but it's going to take a lot of clicking. The problem is I need to scroll while clicking, and I don't have the kind of coordination for that. But I'm clearly making lots of money, especially with these bonuses. 60 grand. So I'm going to upgrade myself a whole bunch. Every level takes me up by 2 hammer power. And I need lots of hammer power. Okay, that's 142 hammer power suddenly. So even these break up in a few hits. I'm going to chase down some stools then, because at that kind of damage, yeah, we'll quickly find out what's after that. Desk, 111. Not sure what this thing is, it just spat out. Oh, it's $93,000. Okay. I guess I won't say no to that. There's also some crystals coming down. $121,000, so let's upgrade the machine that drops crap down to us. That's almost level 50 now. It's just a constant stream of stuff coming out of there, so we'll definitely turn it into better stuff. We've built our stool quota. There's another 100 grand, so we can get this past level 50. We'll go all the way up to level 53. I seem to have unlocked a machine tab, so I think I can actually level these up provided I have the proper experience and parts. Yeah, that's got lots of bonus power now. Uh, along with the drill machine. Both of those just got a lot better, so I might as well upgrade them a little bit more because those are actually really cheap. So this thing's going to be a superstar for us. It deserves its level 43. Next we're going to do the hammer thing, but we need some money for that. And we're currently at about $400 to $600 a second. I think that depends on exactly what we're smashing. But speaking of smashing, let's upgrade this hammer with all the money we have. I just saw they get double power at level 52, so if we get another few levels out of those, they're going to hit even harder than they are. Because as it is now, they're going to do some big damage. But we need it, because these things have 5,000 health. Alright, well, I've got $113,000 and we're long overdue to upgrade this thing. So I'm going to see if I can upgrade that 25 times, <laughs> which I can. So it's level 54. So when it clamps down here, it's going to do a lot more damage than it did before. I think all my machines need an upgrade like that. We're just going to keep upgrading with all of our money. Because we need to turn a lot of these stools into the next desks and maybe even them into something new. But we need to sell a lot of these and something we can make these fairly easily. The white desk mission is done. There's another 100,000. That gives us 230,000 to spend. I'm going to see if I can get all my machines to level 50 because then I'll get that double power boost, which is probably really strong. And then also none of them feel left out. So suddenly all by themselves, they're going to push these things a long ways forward. Then I can open another general box, hopefully for a new tool so I can extend my factory line. Nope, we just got experience for my hammer. And the next box opening costs $124,000, which a while ago would have seemed impossible. Now it just takes a couple seconds. Okay, let's open one more of these. Give me a new tool, please. Uh, I got more experience for the hammer, so I'm pretty sure I can just upgrade that again. This is soon going to be my superstar. It's going to get bonus power, I guess, times two again. So yeah, double its power. So it hits for 4,115. That's pretty good. As long as I'm helping things at the start, by the time they get to the hammer, it will turn them into something amazing. In fact, at this point, I'm pretty sure we are constantly making the white desks. 
But now also seems like a pretty good time to spend $120,000 upgrading my power, so we're going to go from 142 to 192 per hit. Which is actually a really big increase, so we'll be able to smash this stuff even further into more useful crap. Some of these now, by the time they're losing the first uh, squishy thing, are turning into the white desk. And I smashed a white desk into its next item, a bookshelf, $140. We're also going to upgrade our supplying machine just a few times. These are getting really expensive, but the more crap we spit out, the more money we make. And I can smash these pretty consistently into the blue desks already. I don't know what comes after the blue desk, but we'll find out one day. I can even turn them into a blue desk by the time they get to basically here, which is kind of insane. So we're just going to keep smashing that and see what else we get. I'm going to extend my factory, maybe twice. I wasn't sure if this was worth it, because in theory now it takes longer for all my stuff to make it to trucks, but I have room for an extra tool. And our money is jumping up to over $1,000 per second as long as I'm doing it efficiently, so that's starting to get pretty good. And I think that looks like the last shipment of the blue bookshelves, so we should get a pretty good reward for that. $132,000, I'll take it. I also noticed there was this over here, $137,000, and it's an entirely separate factory. I'm not yet sure how I feel about this, but fine, we're going to spend a lot of money upgrading this so it's spitting out a lot of watermelons. It's uh, kind of hard to do anything because I don't have any extra tools, but I can hit this with the hammer and turn this into pretty good stuff anyway, which is giving me a lot of money. But I really need more tools, so let's hope I get one out of here. Tongs machine. I'm going to put that over here. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but it's at least going to work on this stuff over here. Then I'm going to try and turn up to level 50 because that shouldn't be that expensive. And yes, I should use the bulk buy thing, but whatever. There's level 50. I'm also going to turn this up to level 50. And no, I'm not going to use the bulk buy thing. The tongs might have been a bad choice over here, because we don't have a manager anyway to fix this stuff when it breaks, so I might just have to supervise this by myself for a minute. But we're making $2,000 a minute, a second. I'm actually going to remove the tongs from over here and put them here. They're just going to do more for me here, because they're a slow but big damage thing, so they'll grab the white desks at the end and hopefully turn them into something new again. Basically, they're more of an end-of-the-line type tool rather than a beginning. And I already have the parts I need to double the power of the tongs machine. But speaking of machines, let's spend another $440,000. Very expensive to get hopefully something new. Never mind. And when I turn all of these things into the vases, we're making $4,000 a second. Which gives me $350,000 overall, so that means I can upgrade my hammer power even more. So we're doing $281 per click. And after clicking away like this for a few minutes, there's another quarter million dollars, which I'm going to spend here, just trying to get a little more value out of it. I think in order to make it further and further, we're just going to have to keep upgrading this, and this is definitely getting expensive. But we do get a money and hammer bonus, both of which are bonuses I approve of. And that did give us a boost button, which apparently is, yeah, going to do this. Basically double our output. So it uh, basically brings a golden thing in to dump a bunch of more crap down to make us even more money. A few minutes later, $1.2 million. So let's spend that trying to get this up to level 100. It's got to be close. 98, two more levels. Our hammer power is also 500 now, so we can basically run this thing all by ourselves. Okay, we have $450,000. That should be enough for the final two levels. Level 100. Now I can produce iron. Plus my hammer does 1,000 damage. It takes a lot longer to spit iron out, but I think it's going to be better overall, depending on what we can turn it into. It's a little bit of a slow process. But iron turns into iron ingot for $218, which is pretty valuable. I don't know if our tools can efficiently go through this, though. But since this guy over here doesn't have any tools anyway, I might as well decide to take raw iron ore, because that's the most valuable of any base material. I've got $1.4 million to spend, so I'm going to buy another box, hoping for another tool. I just got experience for that tool, but seek your tools, I'm going to spend $700,000 upgrading this. Which probably isn't going to be a many upgrades. We got it to level 80 though, so its power per second is 3,300. Which still isn't enough to do much against the iron ore. So I might actually swap this back to the material before, because I think we'll get more money, because we'll take it to a further stage. We do make the money back pretty quick, so I'm going to try and upgrade the drill press. It's 170 per second. We need that to be a little higher. So 270 per second is much closer to where we want it to be. I think it's at the point now, yeah, where it's crushing the logs into planks at least. And then the next saw blade thing can turn them into white desks. And everything else can hopefully turn them into the blue things. Uh, also, these tongs at the end, this is only a $10 upgrade, so we're probably a little overdue to do this. These aren't going to be crazy strong yet, but they are going to be at least reasonably strong. Actually, 714 per second isn't bad. I don't think they go off very frequently, but when they do, they're going to hurt things. And I sold 50 white desks, so there's half a million dollars in bonus. Next, I guess I'll upgrade the drill as many times as we can, and it's actually got really high power per second. Or already 600. And we're getting so powerful, we found out what's beyond bookshelf, which is bed for 174. So money's still going up very, very quickly. That means our hammer needs an upgrade, because our hammer's already very strong, and it's only level 50. 
spending $300,000 on it, it gets us to 3,000 per second. So now our factory basically makes $6,000 per second, more or less depending on what exactly is going through, but it's really good money. And I'm hammering away on a bed to try and find out what comes after that, but we're not going to be able to because we need a higher level. What I can do for now is basically turn everything into a blue bookshelf before it even reaches the first tool, and then by the end we should be making really good money. Next we're going to upgrade the supply line thing again. Uh, we're long overdue to do this, there's a million dollars spent on that, which brought us many more levels and many more items. I should also upgrade this one's supply line, it is expensive, but if we get it to level 50 I think we'll see a big increase in production for it. And I got enough parts now to upgrade the drill one more time. So that's going to be a considerable increase to it again. It even turned gold. It's probably still worth upgrading a factory. Every time we do this, we get a little bit more money bonus. And each little number over time turns into a really big number. And I use th this conveyor over here to fill an order for 100 of these things, which is going to get us 560 grand. Which I'm going to spend on a general box for 1.2 million, hopefully getting something amazing out of here. Experience for the drill press. Quite a bit of it too, so that's going to turn considerably stronger. And it was already one of my favorites. But I think because I removed the ads, I got a bunch of these crystals, so let's see what's in a legendary box. Maybe it's some kind of legendary tool, like a laser machine. I'll take a laser machine. Uh, maybe I should put that up front, because I suspect it's going to be pretty strong. Yeah, its power per second is 22,000, so I think it's going to do a lot of good for us. But now that I think about it, that should maybe be in the back, because it's doing a lot of damage, and these things don't have a lot of health. I don't think it rolls over to the next items. So I'm going to move the laser to the back, where it's going to do big damage to blue things and turn them into beds. That's much more suited for it. Uh, speaking of suited for it, let's do another legendary box. So now we have a missile machine. Uh, I'm going to put the missile machine over here where it's going to fire on iron ores because hopefully it's as amazing as I think it is. Then it can hopefully turn iron ore into something better. I don't know if it's actually going to turn them into something new or not, but it's trying real hard. I did also spend a million dollars expanding that. Uh, to be honest, I didn't realize how expensive that was before I touched that. Uh, I've also moved some of the tongs over here to help with the iron ore. Obviously, I need to upgrade them quite a bit. Okay, since I can't do that, they're going to take care of this stuff and they'll be able to do some damage to wood. The missiles break down a lot, but uh, that's okay because look what they do. They turn even these basic things that far along their chain. So now we're making stupid money once again. Plus, I've got a lot of the machines I can now level up, especially like my super laser. And my missiles, my two most favorite things. Even missiles can go one more time. And the upgraded missile launcher is definitely doing damage. It's firing those missiles often and doing tons of damage. That means I should probably also spend a lot of money upgrading this guy. Well, there's $2 million worth, which is only nine levels. I also didn't realize this entire time I could spend 50 crystals to hire a second manager so he can actually manage this part by himself. So I'll just let them happily work away for a while and I'll come back and be rich. A few minutes later and I've got $16 million to spend. So let's spend a few just upgrading our supplying machine because that's where all the good stuff comes from. Then maybe quite a bit on our factory itself, that way we can have lots of hammer power. We're gonna go 25 levels for $11 million. And then we've actually spent about all of our money. But my hammer power is up to 2,500, my money bonus is getting pretty big. So I'd wager now I can turn some stuff into some pretty amazing better stuff. We're currently making about $10,000 a second. So let's try turning this back into iron ore again, because I might have the power now to chew through this iron ore and turn the bars into something new altogether. Still may not have quite have that kind of power, but the super laser down the way is also going to help. Plus when I'm going like this, the money goes well over $10,000 a second. And we found out after ironing it comes Screwbolt, $272. Turns out saving up tens of millions of dollars really does wonders for your factory. Here, after finishing my order, we got experience and parts. I do want to see what comes after Screwbolt, so I'm going to hammer away on the iron chunks until they turn into a Screwbolt, and then they'll turn into something new for me. Uh, also, I accidentally clicked the flying hammer, but that works to my advantage because we're doing $5,000 a hit. So much that the sound turned off. Okay, we weren't successful there. We're going to try it again starting here, and we're going to try and turn this into whatever's beyond a screw bolt. We really need a good factory to get through this stuff, but we managed to do it a hammer, $338. Whatever the case, we're making lots of money. We've already made $3.5 million plus the bed bonus. $4.5 million, and it's been like 10 seconds. So overall, I probably made like $100 million on garbage that absolutely no one wants. So let's just let this run for a couple of weeks and come back to it and see what kind of factory we have.